What's up guys? Okay, here's the finished vanity mirror that we did. I can't really go that high up to show you in one shot, so I had to pan across. So here's what we did. The mirror size is a 36 by 30 inches tall. The board behind it, um, we bought a four by four sheet of, we did ACX plywood, and what that means is one side is A grade, one side is C grade. So the A grade we put facing up, so which is the, you know, the better finished side. We also sanded it down. You could use an MDF board, you could use you know, anything that you know, is, is at least, I would say, half inch thick. And the ours is about a half inch thick. You can see the side. Um, we screwed it down to a frame and I'll show you on the inside how big the frame is. We went with a dimmer switch over here. We still gotta do some touch up paint from our fingerprints. And then there's the bulbs, 12 bulbs. And we decided to use LED bulbs. That way it won't be so hot when she's trying to do her makeup or whatever she's doing um, in front of the vanity. So, because if you have that many bulbs, even at 25 watts a bulb, that's gonna be very hot. So you wanna make sure you have a low voltage or low wattage, or I would recommend LEDs and that's what we did. So there's no heat at all on these ones. These are, I think a 5.5 watt bulb. And if you notice they're a smaller bulb than the regular big vanity bulbs, these are a smaller bulb, which is fine. Still puts out a lot of light. Um, in fact, I'll demo it for you. Let me plug it in, sorry. Okay, sorry about that, there you go. So you can see, it's very bright, plenty bright. And there's your little switch. Very, very low wattage. So if you think five times 12, 60, 60 watts for the entire thing, it's pretty awesome. Um, all right, and I'm gonna show you the inside on how we did it. Oh, so we, the, the mirror we used, a, a, a not special, but it's a, it's, a, it's a caulking glue or adhesive that's special for mirrors. And you can see that at your at Home Depot at, or Lowe's or wherever you go. They'll have a, that for you. So that's what we used. We let it dry overnight. We put some weight on the mirror to um, press it down so it will dry. All right, and there's the finished thing. I'll flip it over so you can see the back. What's up, guys? Okay, now we're going to talk about the back. So as you can see, like I said, mentioned before, the plywood that we use was an ACX. So the C grade is on the back side, so you don't see it. And basically it's a rougher side. And the framing that we use is just a one by two pine that I cut and just pieced it together. We painted the outside white, obviously. Um, real basic, you just put a frame around it. You measure how much you want, cut it, and then build a frame right around the outside. I'll show you all the way around. It's real easy. And then now the light bars that we use are just cheap vanity style light bar they're real cheap they're hard they're called hardwire light bars you'll notice it's just the wires are coming off there's not a plug if you use ones with a plug then you can just plug them into the wall and be done with it but these you have to wire together so these generally come with a frame on the front of them but we took took the frame off and then just just threw it away and just mounted the base of it and then poked the lights through and then these come off so you pull those off, push the light through, put those back on, and put the bulbs in. Now, and then I secured it with a couple screws. Make sure you don't get a, a screw that's too deep because you'll go through this plywood. This plywood's only half inch. Okay, you don't want to go through that and poke through the front. Then you have to, then you have a hole to fill. So make sure you have a real, real small screw. Or most people, what they do is they just use these to, to secure it together. You don't even screw it down. I wanted a little bit more security. Just in case it gets loose and falls, I'd rather just have it secured. Okay, let's talk about the wiring. You'll notice the duct tape we have that's just holding the wires in place so they're not dangling. So off of each light bar, you're going to get three wires. A white, a black, and a ground. Okay? Now to tie these together, you want to loop all three lights together. So you can do it a couple ways. You can tie them all to the middle, or you can just do a, do a loop like I did here. And what I did was I just get a cheap two plug extension cord and then I just cut it in pieces. So they're like a dollar fifty at Lowe's for like a 16 foot cable. And so basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna notice both wires are white, right? So, but you have a black and white coming off of the light. So on here, you wanna look for the side that has the ridges. See that? 
So one side has ridges, one side is smooth. Okay, so the one side with the ridges, you're gonna tie to the white wire, sorry. And then the smooth side, you're gonna tie to the black wire. And the ground, of course, I just got some cheap green copper wire and then loop those together. So you're gonna do that all the way around. Tie those together. Look, so the black and white are coming off of this light. Tied to the extension cord, then I cut another piece of extension cord, tied it to this one, looped it in. So you have all three lights tied together. And I also did the ground and looped that in together too, okay? Probably don't even need the ground with low voltage, but I wanted it. I think it's safer to always have a ground even if, you're, even if it's not necessary. Okay, so once you're done tying all the lights together, you're gonna go down to the switch. Now the switch we did was real basic dimmer. Sorry, my dog is trying to get in the way. So here it is. Now if you look at it, so the smooth wire, remember, is coming off of the black right here. You're going to basically put the switch in line with that. So remember, you're going to cut the extension cord and you're going to have another piece. So you're going to have this piece. I'm going to back up so you can see this. You got a small piece coming from this light bar to the switch. So the smooth side, remember, goes to the black. You're going to run that to the black wire off the switch. Now off the switch, you're going to have two black wires. One's going to come from the light. So the light's going to go to that one, right? And then one is going to go to the extension cord. That's where you're going to plug in the wall. So let's take a look. Let me get closer for you. So remember, that's the smooth wire coming off the light, which is the black, going into the black of the switch. And then the other one, which is the rigid, you're just going to let it hang there for a second. Then you're going to cut another piece of extension cord. Take the rigid side, right? Which is the white. Can you see it? So make sure you remember. And you're going to tie it into the other one that's coming off the light. So you can kind of see how that works. Smooth side, rigid side are basically black to white, okay? So just remember the black wire off the light needs to go to the black wire on the switch. And then just do the same as you did before, coming to, going to the plug. You got the rigid side going to the white wire over here, and then the smooth side going into the, black, the other black wire off the plug. Okay, it doesn't matter which one you pick, they're the same. And then the ground, I just tied to loop it to the ground, be done. And then for all the connections you wanna Wrap electrical tape around each one to secure them and to keep them safe. That's pretty much it. That's the back of this thing. It's real basic. And the plug, like I said, sorry about that. No back up. Just a two prong plug. Real easy. Just an extension cord that basically that was one extension cord that I just cut into pieces and wired the light together. Okay, real basic. I'm not an electrician. This is I just got the um, asked a few questions some, to a couple of electricians. And then also got some help on some other YouTube videos from some electricians, just watching them wire switches and light bars. They're real easy. You can get all your information on YouTube. But this frame is really easy, you guys. Really cheap. You can buy this lumber cheap or get some scraps from someone. And like I said, you don't have to use plywood. You can use MDF. I wouldn't use a particle board because drilling holes, it might chip. And it's kind of heavy. So like I said, this one's a half inch. And it worked out pretty good. So um, the next video I'll show you is when it's all assembled in her bedroom and we'll turn it on for you and see how it looks. See you guys. All right, what's up guys? All right, here's the finished vanity in her room. She doesn't have that big of a room, so this thing goes, almost covers three quarters of one wall. Um, so here it is in place. You can see how I mounted the, the vanity mirror on the wall, secured by three brackets into the studs on top and it's resting on the tabletop. I was a little worried about it resting on the tabletop because the mirror is pretty heavy or the vanity light, but you can see where it's at the it's it's almost touching where the cabinets are on the ends. So we we checked it and everything and it's not bowing, so we're good to go. So let me give you a quick breakdown of the vanity. Um she hasn't decorated or hasn't even touched it yet. So the, here's the cabinets we got from IKEA. 
They're a five drawer cabinet. Pretty deep drawers. Little dividers you can buy at um, Ikea as well. Um, there's two of those. Those are about $80 each at Ikea. The tabletop is pretty long. I forget actually how long this thing is. Put the tip back. Let me look, see if it shows it on here. No, it doesn't say how long it is. I don't have a tape here, but it's pretty long. I want to say it's 70 something inches, but I could be wrong to be exact. I can't remember, but it was like 45 bucks for the tabletop. So you're looking at like two, just over $200 for the bottom part. And we didn't, we had to assemble the cabinets, but that's easy. I mean, Ikea stuff's really basic to put together. Um, I secured it together with brackets on each end so the table won't slide. You can see the brackets. So you, that way this thing won't move while she's using it. So, and then there's the vanity. So I tucked the plug. You can see where I poked the plug out from the side. We haven't touched it up or anything like that yet. So that's why it still looks a little nicked up from us mounting. But there's a little plug coming out of the side, tucked down in and just plugged into the wall. And then it's using the switch right here. So there it is turned on. So the top part, one more time, I'll go through. It's a four by four sheet of plywood. That was about $15. One by two pine, cheap. I think there was like three of those for under $10. The light bars, the top light bar was from Lowe's for 19 something. The two side bars were 10 bucks each. The mirror, pretty much everything on the top is from Lowe's, just so you know. The mirror, is 30 like i said 36 by 30 that was about 27 dollars at lowe's they sell mirrors with frames mirrors blank whatever you want we went with a plain style mirror with a beveled edge so you can put build a frame around it put a casing around it decorative casing whatever you want to do you can make decorative all up um and the paint like 10 bucks in paint so i think you're looking at probably i'm um, maybe 130 bucks on the top the, with the majority of your money being in the mirror and in the lights and the bulbs we went with a smaller style bulb you're going to save money because if you get a vanity style big fat bulb from Lowe's they're about seven dollars a piece if you do LED if you do the smaller style bulb like we did you can get them for like two for three bucks 5.5 watt bulb putting out about 40 watts I think it said I think it's 40 watts or 25 watts I can't remember exactly um, if you want me to look at my receipt, I will. Uh, 40 watt. It says LED 40 watt. So 12 of those bulbs came out to like 18 bucks. I mean, it was an awesome deal. Otherwise, you're going to spend a ton on LED bulbs. All right. So there it is. Completely mounted and finished. We're going to, I'm going to cut her some cool stickers for the go around it on, on the wall, makeup style stuff. And she's going to put all kinds of stuff on top and make it look really pretty. You'll notice the gap at the bottom right here. I did this for two reasons. She wants to put pictures right there, but I also left enough room, perfect style gap, in case we needed to add a third or fourth light bar at the bottom, and then we would raise the mirror off the table. So I left room just in case it wasn't enough. She says it's plenty, but like I said, I just did that just in case. And she can also put like a little stuff up against the wall there, and whatever she's gonna do, shelving or little drawers or whatever she's gonna do. So. There it is, you guys. We had a fun building this project together. It was awesome. And if you have any questions at all, leave a message, uh, put it in the comments, and I'll answer anything I can for you guys. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.